Life-saving steps to keep a hero alive. Seconds are critical here, and so is calm. This injured dog isn't real, but the knowledge learned most definitely is. UT's College of Veterinary Medicine recently held training sessions for law enforcement and first responders on treating their injured animal partners. Sure, so we're teaching hands-on techniques that could be life-saving, such as CPR, how to appropriately respond to a gunshot wound, how to stop bleeding, how to do those types of things that normally, if it was a person, EMS personnel would do that in an ambulance on the way to the hospital. Time and travel to the nearest vet are important factors when a canine's life is in the balance, says Marlon Nelson with the Cleveland, Tennessee PD. Here he learns CPR techniques. Officer Nelson knows that often when these animals suffer a serious injury, it's the handler who must keep it alive until a veterinarian can step in. With us, we have our next 24-7 animal hospital a couple miles down the road near Chattanooga, so it's a a little haul down there, so you want to be prepared to keep the animal alive, especially it's a human's best friend. The training was inspired by Kane, a Belgian Malinois with the Crossville Police Department. In 2017, Kane was stabbed while in pursuit of a suspect. Crossville police officers brought him here to the College of Veterinary Medicine, but the animal died from his injuries. UT's College of Veterinary Medicine has a proud history of partnering with law enforcement and the military to care for service dogs. If you want to see how um, combat gauze works, if you've never worked with combat gauze, you want to see them. Major Shane Chumler is a veterinarian with the U.S. Army and graduated from UTCVM and completed a three-year residency in emergency and critical care. He now cares for military dogs and was back to lead some of this training. Hey, if we're on a battlefield and a dog was just injured, and now it needs care, how do we, or what are the measures we can take place? What can we do to potentially save this dog's life? The bond between a handler and their canine is deep and special, and we need these gifted animals performing their duty. So it's essential to know what to do to increase their chance of survival if that situation ever becomes necessary. This is Charles Denny reporting.